Okay, so in today's video, I am going to talk about my favorite game system ever, which is the original Game Boy. And one of the reasons this is my favorite is I absolutely flunked out of college, not once, but twice, enjoying the original Game Boy. Now, this is the Play It Loud version. This is not my original one, but it's the one I'm using for this video. Uh, so, my absolute favorite game, you know, it's not Mario, and it's not Zelda, it is Skate or Die, Tour de Thrush. So, what I wanted to show you today is, um, if you don't have an original Game Boy, this little thing that I bought, Retro Game 300, absolutely love it. It is shaped like the Game Boy, but it's much smaller, as you can see. That, actually, I don't like. I really wish it was as big as the original Game Boy because um, I grew up with this brick, and it feels really good in my hands. So, I own this game. Uh, in the original cartridge and I also own this game in this cartridge which um, is uh, you know one of those things that you can buy that comes loaded with a whole bunch of games uh, for Game Boy and Game Boy Color and you can also remove this card, stick it in your computer, and download any ROMs that you would like to have that were not already there. So, Skate or Die is on here. Uh, the Game Boy, uh, like I said, the original cartridge is in here. This is what it looks like in a well-lit room. Crappy. Looks bad. Feels really good in your hands, though, and it's, you know, not emulation, so it's perfect to play. On this system, uh, you can choose if you want this to be... Um, in a certain aspect ratio, and I chose to make the aspect ratio cover the whole screen. So I get a lot more screen size out of it. Well, not a lot more, but some more. Um, in this system that I bought, the Retro 300, I've had it, um, I think going on two years now. Oh my gosh, like, you can, you can charge this system, and it is a C port charge, so yeah, you charge it with your phone cord. Um, it runs so many hours on a charge, I mean, I really can't tell you. Of course, the old system uses the four AA batteries. Oh, and by the way... Uh, this 1-800-255-3700, that's still Nintendo's number, if you have an issue and you need to call them. So, my favorite game looks the best on this system. I could choose the green color palette, which is uh, not the same green, it's almost like an antifreeze green. So, I chose to just go with um, the standard stark white color. I love it. Now, see how crisp and clear that looks? Oh my gosh. All right. Blur, 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 and we're not even moving. So, um, I highly recommend this little system. I believe when I bought it, it was around the $70 mark. You could probably get it cheaper. 
But again, with this system, you can also uh, remove the cord. Let's see, where is it? On this side. And um, any games that are not already on there, you can um, download those ROMs to that cord with your computer or laptop or whatever you're using. So yeah, you have this or this. Now, I have regular sized hands. They're not tiny little ex-president hands. They're just regular human sized hands. So my regular human sized hands can operate the smaller system perfectly fine. Even though, uh, if it's a sunny day, I will take this system outside and trounce this game. Uh, but to see this inside, in my house, in my bedroom, at my kitchen table, I mean, hello. You can see the difference here. So, you can spend a lot of money, and you, can, you could buy a bunch of cartridges for an original system. Or, you know, you can, you can buy one of these systems that holds a charge forever. Uh, Paperboy is another game I really, really love on the original Game Boy. A lot of people did not like it, but I do. Um, so I spend um, quite a few hours playing these games because I enjoy them. My high score on this game is, you know, retarded. Like uh, 486,000, somewhere in that range. Yeah. So, uh... When it comes to retro gaming, I really don't think there's any shame in the game to go with a newer system with an excellent battery life. And one of the reasons is Nintendo is really crappy about re-releasing their older games for you to enjoy. Like, if this was on the Switch, I would have paid 10 bucks for this game. Easily. You know, to have it on the Switch. It's not on the Switch. So... Uh, pick and choose. So I did um, do a makeshift screen protector that I just cut a screen protector out of another piece of a real screen protector. Put it on here. Um, I, you know, I really can't tell you how many hours of battery life I get. I know it's more than 10. Uh, other than that, I really can't tell you, but 10 hours of battery life on a charge and you don't have to buy batteries is great. So you have your shoulder buttons neatly placed on the back. They're very comfortable. This company is not paying me to promote this product. But, um, focus, focus. Yeah, I mean, you, you can see a huge difference. Th this is comparable to HD compared to this blurry mess. So, yeah. And, uh, you know, no need to go, don't go on Amazon and spend a fortune for a pouch to put something like this in. Just, you know, get you a... You've got a pouch in your house that you bought for something else. Or get one at the Dollar Tree or something. There you go. I think that um, millennials get really excited about retro gaming. To me, it's not retro gaming. It's still playing the games that I really enjoy. So, uh, I highly recommend one of these if you want to play your games on an old system. If you really want to torture yourself uh, with the poor screen quality, but if you have 70 or 80 bucks, maybe Christmas money, maybe birthday money, maybe you just have that much money, gosh, go with this. And it comes fully loaded with hundreds of games to play. And like I said, if your game's not on there, download the ROM, put it on the card, play it. Still though, nothing feels like this does in your hands. All right, well, that's what I have to say about the original Game Boy and the Retro Game 300. Take your pick. Enjoy gaming.
Thanks. <laughs>